All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Tiny Metal Full Metal Rumble. Uh, welcome back to, well, I guess it's kind of a welcome back. So for, I guess, some of you at least, uh, who caught my Tiny Metal 1 series, this is effectively Tiny Metal 2. It's not a DLC, it is a, it is a full, like, follow-up sequel kind of game. There might have been a DLC that I missed for Tiny Metal, but I was just busy. Uh, but so this is the latest game. And it looks like they've spiffed some things up, added, obviously, a whole new campaign. They've also added Mecha, which is the main thing that immediately caught my eye. And boy, that's exactly the kind of thing that I want to see in a game. I love me some Mecha. So let's just get started. I don't know if it's voice acted, so I might just have to read this all out loud. Happens. A few weeks after narrowly avoiding a surprise attack by AI-controlled Denoldan forces, the Artemisian army detected them again, this time engaged in strategic maneuvers. Reports were of multiple Denolan platoons carrying out a covert search operation. Since their search covered major battlegrounds from the World War, Captain Nathan Greese surmised that the Denolans were attempting to excavate lost tech artifacts and quickly dispatched his troops to halt their search. Platoons 3 and 5 reporting in, sir. No signs of any lost tech artifacts in their search quadrant. Order them to continue the search. We must find them before the enemy does. Yes, sir. I will never allow such dangerous technology to fall into the wrong hands again. I'll do whatever it takes to stop this never-ending cycle of conflict. Platoon 1 reporting in. They found possible signs of a lost tech artifact. Where, soldier? Is it the Forbidden Alps? Affirmative, sir. Roger that. Tell them to head over there and secure the location. Sir, yes, sir. Sir. Detecting unidentified units. They're headed towards us. Analyzing identification. Friend or foe. It's the Denolden Army. Battle stations! Deploy our remaining forces in defensive formation! Right away, sir. Curse those long dead and old and ghosts. Looks like they really are after the lost tech after all. This AI controlled army should really be simple puppets. Yet, I feel some sort of evil intent from them. I have a bad feeling about this. Wolfram, where are you when we need you most? Uh, but, so, well, hi. That just popped in. Man, he is not happy. That voice acting also. <laughs> it's very uh, variable. Anyway, so Nathan, elite already machine commander, specializes in the logistics and use of metal units. Passive abilities decreases production costs by 25% all metal type units, decrease attack by 20% all infantries. Superpower tank assault increases movement by 1 to all metal units, increases attack by 30% all male, uh, metal units. Ultra power, hyper strike. Uh, so just cranks it up even further. So, they have more fuel capacity, more vision. Oh, fuel is new. I don't remember there being fuel in the last one. Uh, let's see. Decreased attack to all units, increased crit chance, same thing. Okay. There's still a little time before we reach the enemy position. Let's review our training one more time. First, let's check the heads up display. Try moving the displayed reticle and select the unit you want to move. The rifleman unit is currently available for selection. It's the most basic infantry unit type, with low attack and defensive powers. However, riflemen are cheap to build, and since the unit has many soldiers, it's very useful when capturing locations. Infantry units don't slow down when moving through forest tiles, and they can go over hills. It's a useful unit for basic reconnaissance, Keep in mind that infantry are relatively weak units. Once you've found the enemy's location, launch an attack to destroy it. When you're ready to attack the enemy, move your unit in the direction you want until you're within range. Go to the action menu and select the attack command. The surviving enemies in the unit will then counterattack. If the unit's HP is reduced, its firepower will also decrease. In other words, hit them first to hit the hardest. Okay, so first and foremost, and I, yeah, there we are. Okay, let's see if I can change the audio settings a little bit. Yeah, there we go. 
So I'm going to turn a lot of this kind of down so you can hear the audio. That's unit voice chance ratio. I'm going to just turn that off. We don't really need to hear them saying like blah, 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 blah. Actually, I'll keep it on 50%. I we'll want to hear it a little bit here and there. Okay, no motion blur. Wow. Uh, let's see. Game speed. Normal. Relaxing. Instant. Huh. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Dialogue out or next. Well, considering the, the uh... Let's see. Considering the fact that uh, it's actually fully voice acted this time around, it was only partially voice acted last time. Uh, I guess I'll leave it on. Even if it's kind of random, uh, it's okay. Oh. Well, I pressed a button. Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're good. I panicked. I pressed space bar. Okay, so we want to just start moving out. Oh, I see. I gotta wait. Sir, your orders? Affirmative. Orders received. Okay, we will probably want to turn off the voice acting, though, for what should be relatively obvious reasons. Got anything interesting over there? I want to look for hero hero units. You can recruit them here and there, kind of, sort of. Now, I can't recruit anything. Sir, your orders? So I do want these guys to survive. Okay, attack, assault. We'll move it away. We'll lock on. Okay, so we should be able to do focus fire, yeah? Yeah! I don't know if they've changed the uh, unit 3D models since the last game. It looks like they reused an amount of assets. Uh, the infantry types, the, the dialogue portraits, and a couple other things. Not that that's actually that big of a deal to me. I personally don't mind. I don't have any other actions. Do I? So, I end turn. There we go. So apparently these guys are supposed to be AI, but like, I'm 90% certain one of those is very much not an AI. Okay. What? No, 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 no. Move you yet? Okay, we want to just move these here and trap them. Use focus fire as much as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. I still got this guy. There we go. Die! I think even a number of these battle scenes are actually identical. Honestly, it's weird. I know a lot of people can get, like, kind of frustrated uh, when games, like, reuse assets. But for me, I, I'm actually not that bothered, especially as, like, uh... Well, as long as it's cohesive and and the original assets don't don't feel particularly bad, and maybe maybe there is actually uh, more original assets in here um, that I'm thinking maybe they redid the models or the textures or something like that. Uh oh. Uh. But like, if it looks good, why replace it? Uh, I don't know. This is this is something that I've actually been um, I'm not gonna say passionate about for a little while. But it's bugged me with uh, certain games that, like, I'd actually be fine with, say, what's a what's an easy example? I mean, maybe Fire Emblem, maybe not. Uh, some like older, Sir, your orders? older game types. Uh, maybe some more like tactical games. Uh, let's see, focus fire. I should do a decent amount of damage. Uh, just reusing assets to maybe make like one, two, or three, three games using the same stuff. As long as, as long as they're all like kind of distinct and whatever. Maybe that was more of an issue for me when I was a kid. I, I need to, uh, not play a tactical game while I'm trying to make this point because I'm not going to be able to make a good point here. I'm just going to be kind of like, I wish this thing, but I can't really like voice it because I'm too busy trying to think of, you know, how to defeat my enemies. It's a, I. It's hard to actually, like, have a con- not a convincing, a cohesive dialogue here. Okay, so my people got smacked around a lot. Surprises me a little bit. I was kind of expecting this to be... Ambush! 
Carter. Ambush. Nope. Damn it. I want to see if we can kill that guy, but since they're out of range, I guess we just gotta wait. Anyway, if we go back to this building, I believe we heal. Heal and supply. Oh. Oh, I see. It heals like 13%. But you gotta be on the city to do it. Well, that's fine. Seems like many of your streams end up being, I wish X had Y. It's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty common for me uh, to kind of talk about, like, Sir, your orders? Uh, you know, I wish this had had this or something like that. Just because, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of games that would be better with just, like, a smidge more. And in this case, I obviously don't, I, I don't have any, like, immediate complaints yet. Nor Are probably will I. Uh, at least for a while. It seems like they've just followed a very similar formula to last time. Uh... Which is entirely acceptable. Uh, at least as far as I'm concerned. It's sometimes with games, it's just better to have more of the same with, like, some fine improvements instead. I'm gonna Awaiting kill order, this sir. guy. It looks like they're not going back to heal, but I might as well heal my guys, just because. Let's see. I remember hearing that in this game and its predecessors, you should try and keep your units off the road. As the road has no defenses. Is that true? Yep, absolutely. Uh... For Fire Emblem, for uh, for Vance Wars, for Tiny Tiny Metal, for uh, War Groove, for all of them, you almost always want to keep your your people in the trees, in the hills, in the cities. You almost never want them just walking around, because if they're walking around, they're vulnerable. Uh, you know, enemies do full damage to you. You do, I guess, full damage back ish. But if you're on a building, it might cut the damage in half. Oh, well, that was fast. Oh, I'm getting funds. And do not allow uh, day five to end. I should pay attention to those. Well, I was slow, but all my people lived, ish. This is different. It seems like they've changed how they did things. So if I go... Air? Nope. What? Nope. Ah. So what is this? Why is this glowing? Delete for cancel? What? Oh, it's backspace. But yeah, there's there's glowy spots. Ah. <laughs> That's amusing. Oh, I can switch between which vehicles are just going around. That's amusing, so I can be a tank or an APC. And I can be a helicopter or a plane. Weird. I wonder why. I, I like it, kinda. It's just odd. I'm also really wondering about these glittery spots. They're probably future missions. Okay, so, capture enemy HQ. Do not build any new riflemen. Do not allow day 15 to end and never heal a wounded unit. Uh, we get lancers and scouts. Capture their HQ. I'm not sure if the challenges matter at all. Is Kahaku here? I am here, my lord. I am much impressed with your recent successful mission. The word is that it was mostly due to your command and leadership. I have yet much to learn, my lord. Hmm. These high standards you hold yourself to may be your weakness. My apologies, my lord. Exactly my point. That being said, your pursuit for perfection is one of the reasons that I've come to depend on you so much. My lord. So, tell me about the Denoldian Remnants. The small Denoldian force that landed on Iragajima coast have all but been annihilated. As we speak, Zippanese forces are preparing to intercept the other remnants that landed along the Tsuruga coast. I see. Just as Captain Grease predicted. As you say, my lord. By the way, you have not yet been acquainted with Captain Grease. Yes, I am looking forward to meeting him, my lord. It is rare for you to say as such. What stirs your curiosity? I am curious as to what it is about this man that my lord trusts so much. I see. 
In time, you shall meet him and see for yourself. Yes, my lord. Now let us finish this business. With me, Kohaku. At once. Okay, Sukomo. Or Sukumo. Leading representative vassals of the Shogunate of Zipan. His leadership skill allows his whole army to fight more effectively. Increases production cost of all units, increases attack to all units, increases defense to all units, and increases... Okay, so I don't know how the powers work. We'll f figure it out Healing as we go along. unit will consume fuel, and attacking with a unit will consume ammo. A unit with no fuel can't move, and without ammo, it can't attack. Keep an eye on your unit supplies. Keep your unit supplies topped off during battle to minimize downtime. Vehicle and infantry can resupply at factories and cities, but air units will require airport tiles to do the same. Lancers are anti-vehicle units that can cause heavy damage against any vehicle target like metals and scouts. Their mobility and defensive capabilities are a little lacking, so be sure your positioning choices are solid. The scout vehicle is lightly armored with high vision and mobility ratings. It is a vehicle well suited for reconnaissance, but it suffers from reduced mobility when going through forest tiles. Never forget that scouts cannot move through hill tiles. The Arkelin Personnel Carrier. This troop transport allows for rapid deployment of infantry across the battlefield. Selecting the load command for infantry units near the APC lets them ride the transport. If you want the unit to get off the transport, select the unload command. Arkelins are also able to replenish nearby units ammo and fuel. Infantry and vehicle units adjacent to the Arkelin can be resupplied by facing the Arkelin towards them and using the resupply command. Factory tiles can make new land units, as well as restore HP to vehicles and infantry by selecting the heal command. You can capture any enemy or neutral building, place an infantry unit on a building and select the capture command to begin the process. Capture points earned are directly dependent on the number of soldiers in a unit attempting to claim a location. For instance, each soldier in a unit contributes one capture point to the capturing process, and a rifleman unit at 100% health has 10 soldiers, thus generating 10 capture points per turn. Capturing a city requires 20 capture points and an HQ 25 points. Be careful though, if a capturing unit selects any action other than the capture command, or its HP falls to zero, all capture points will be lost and the process resets. For this mission, eliminating all enemy units or capturing the enemy HQ are the victory conditions. Oh boy, that voice acting might drive him mad. Oh, yeah, so everybody has ammo now. Originally, they had no ammo and no fuel, but now they do on both. Okay. That's, this is going to take some getting used to. It's not necessarily bad, but... Like I said, going to take some getting used to. Okay. Oh, wow. The Archelon can move pretty dang far. Now, I do have a bunch of challenges to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them, though. Okay. Anyway. Got to start capturing the building. Okay, so two, two for that. That's the end. 
Uh, I get him on top of that building. I don't remember if them being on the building gets his vision faster. Okay, small building. Doesn't look like we've got a whole lot here. I'm gonna just stick this here. I don't even know what we're up against. I, I straight up have no idea if we even have any enemies here. Okay, so they're up there. So that's their HQ. I, uh, huh. Okay, so if I plonk him directly on top of that building. My main worry is that we're going to run into, uh... My main worry is we're going to run into... Anti-armor anythings here. Okay, but that's their... Uh-oh. Yep. I think we stuck him in the city. Yeah, we. Yeah, so their troops are coming from there. That makes this a little harder. Riflemen, ready and waiting. I guess I'm gonna have him cap that building. Uh, what are the what are the challenges? Do I even care? Can I check the uh? Can I check this while we're here? Unit data actions. Hmm. What I wanted to see was the challenges. Do challenges matter at all, or are they just for the sake of it? Because if I do this, yeah, never heal a wounded, wounded uh, unit. I mean, it seems like the best strategy to some degree is, isn't that their headquarters, like, straight there? I'm just going to run that around. There's nothing about not losing anybody. So the question is... Can I attack them, do some damage? Yeah, let's do some damage. Yeah, no heals, win by 15 days. And also, don't make any more infantry. Oh. It said I wasn't going to take any damage, but apparently it lied. I don't know if we've got anybody else, but yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bum rush their their headquarters. But yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens when I get full marks on a mission. My assumption is it didn't really help me that much. Oh good. Yeah, there they go. And yeah, there was something about cash, like. We get, we get some kind of cash credit at the end of every mission. Which is interesting. I'm curious about how that's going to boil down. Okay, keep capturing building. Unfortunately, nope, we got it. But no, I didn't tell you to wait. Shit. Whatever. Uh, let's see. And it said, don't make any more mission details. Don't build any new riflemen. Oh. I can't produce anything else. Well, oh wait. Maybe I can? Oh, I can. So I can make lancers, scouts, or another ar uh, archelon. Let's grab another scout. Why not? up I don't actually know which one of these is better but effectively all I have to do is just make a distraction no time for standing around. okay lock on focus fire not a whole lot of damage but that's okay 
Main goal is just to keep him distracted while we're here. I, we're still very solidly entrenched in the tutorial. So I can just do what I need. Yeah, that unit line is absolutely ex the exact same. Uh, that's the exact same dialogue from last time. Okay. I'm just gonna let's see. Do we assault? Do we lock on? We might as well assault. This is a cool vehicle. I don't think it's really meant for combat, but it looks cool at least. Ranked up. Well, honestly, we just want to start capturing this. Everything else is fluff. Okay, what else do we want to do? Another arch archelon? I don't know what MP is. Let me see his movement speed. Oh, MP is movement movement points. Oh, well, we might as well get another scout. Oh, well, my archelon is in trouble. See, wow, this reminds me of Advance Wars. It should. Uh, so the developers very intentionally, more or less, made this as... I'm not going to say a clone. Come on. Uh, the developers very, uh, very, very clearly kind of made this as a, whoops. Uh, let's see, very clearly made this as like an homage slash like a, well, nobody seems to be making an Advance Wars game, so let's just, uh, let's just make our own. And you know what? I'm totally fine with that. I know a lot of people are like, eh, it's just, a, it's just an Advance Wars clone, but like, when was the last time an Advance Wars game even came out? And if I remember, remember right, the like the last one that did came out, uh, the last one that did come out was not very good. Awaiting orders, sir. And so, like, yeah, doesn't bug me at all. Let's see, I'm just gonna have him run away. I just needed needed him as a distraction, so none of those jeeps would come in and mow this guy down. I think we're good. But yeah, I like spiritual successors, personally. Especially when they, they lead to, like, uh, fairly stylish things. Oh! I don't remember the enemy focus firing me in the last game. They might have, but I think they got smarter. Well, it's fine. Capture the building. That should be their headquarters, yeah? Yep, there they go. Pfft. My skills and spirit are at their peak. None can challenge me. I get S rank and I get rewarded and some wallet. We'll have to see how that works. I wonder if I can grind missions out or something. Hopefully we get... Uh... Wow, that's... How far are we traveling? It's just like, hey, here's two characters. Now, cross the worlds. 